Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. We are in here reflection. We in here, y'all. Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. What it do? Welcome, welcome, welcome in, Reflectiations. Y'all know we can't go live at the times we say we going. You in the university, you already know how we rock. Drop them nines if y'all can hear me. Spread the word, let them know we live. Go on Instagram, let them know we live. Go on uh, Twitter, let them know we live. If you're on the website, boom, hop in the forum. Let them know we are live and set to go. We've been waiting all, all evening to get into this. I've been waiting myself. This is going to be a, a deep, divine download. You hear me? Never forget what you are right there. That's why I got that right there. Every time we do a live, that's going to always be in the backdrop. I just want people to remember this McCurber, and that's what you are at your core. At your core. When you drop the flesh, okay? That's what you are at your core. Even human beings. Even the human being race. Yes, I'm talking to the human beings, y'all. This y'all too. Only the high vibrational human beings, though. All right, I see them nines, y'all can hear me. All right, somebody said, can I get unblocked? Shit, if you was blocked, you wouldn't be in here now. You about to get blocked. <laughs> you gonna really be trying to email talking about some kid, you get unblocked. You'll never forget, under no circumstances, what, what you are. Illuminate it a little more, baby. Under no circumstances are we to forget what we are. You hear me? Yeah, talk about some cat they get unblocked. You own here, nigga. You about to get blocked. You're gonna be fuck around asking that question in real life time. But yeah, though. Never forget, y'all. Never forget. A lot of us don't even know that that's what we are at the core. That's what that represents. Alright? As we know, this is the Macarba. Macarba. This is the way we anciently traveled. This is the way you originally traveled. No airplanes, no, no cars. You didn't have to fill the air with all the fumes to come out your car when you drive it. No trains, no steam engines, no boats, none of that. It's all you need to go wherever you want to go. It's like two triangles, two pyramids, whatever you want to call them, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But that uh, those shapes are one pyramid pointing up, one pyramid pointing down. The way the McCurba works is once it's activated, remember, up is masculine energy. The down one represents feminine energy. The start is the the, the pyramid is pointing down. Because thou give, is giving, that's divine feminine energy. The divine feminine energy gives orders to the masculine energy. Remember that class. Remember that university. All right? You are all you are all high vibrational beings if you in here. So that's why I say when you vibing high, don't be paying attention to these trolls. All right? You vibing too high to focus on the trolls, man. Because then you lower your frequency. Let the trolls be the trolls. It's, a, it's, a, it's open to the public. So that I mean, anybody can slide their neck in there, you know what I'm saying, and see what's going on in class. You already know that. So, so try to go around them. All right? Try to go around them. Or else you miss what you are, which what's meant for your soul to, to grasp. All right? But I'm always, I like to point to this, though. Drawing board class. I'm at the, I'm at the chalkboard class. You hear me? This is the chalkboard. You feel me? This is online e-learning for adults and kids and senior citizens. That's the university, baby. This is online e-learning for adults, adults, children, and the elderly. You get what I'm saying? But remember, the pyramid that points at the that points down is it's imperative that we get this symbology down pat. Because when you meditate, 
We're going to be talking about dark matter energy today. You can't tap into the dark matter forces within you. You can't link into that if you don't understand the ancient McCurb or the way we've been traveling. You feel me? Y'all like, yeah, y'all know this online e-learning for adults, nigga. What you talking about? The online classes. What you talking about, man? You see what you see what the you see what the hot sauce did for us? It put us in a position where we can be free. You see what I'm saying? For free. We learning this real shit here for free today. You get what I'm saying? We ain't gotta pay for this, none of this. You know, we on YouTube every Sunday. Now we miss, we miss. Oh, you know, I got my chiclates on. You hear me? Chinclates. You feel me? But yeah, though. We wasn't on YouTube yesterday, Reflectiations. It was Sunday. Shit happened. I ain't even gonna get in here and lie and say why we didn't have class. There's no we having it today. You get what I'm saying? We ain't even gonna talk about yesterday. We ain't even gonna break up no old shit. We talking about today. You get what I'm saying? We here today. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, we, was there, we thought this was going down live yesterday. What happened? You bringing up old shit. Why you in here bringing up the past? Time isn't even real, so we don't need to be bringing up the past. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, though. Back to what I was saying, though. Online e-learning for adults, children, and the elderly. White people, y'all invited in here, too. So, see, you ain't got to feel no way. Long as you vibrating hot, you get But if you're not vibrating hot, get the fuck out. You hear me? We back. We back. Let's stay focused. Because I ain't even opened up the lesson or none of that yet. I'm just, I just want to... I, just, I have this is my disclaimer. This is my disclaimer this, this, in this lecture today. You hear me? I want to really talk about this because, you know, motherfuckers just see it in the background with no understanding of it. You feel me? That's a decent background. No, this is how we travel anciently. This is the way we finna be traveling. A lot of y'all talk about astral projection. You feel me? But this is a more even powerful form of any type of astral projection. When you gotta activate your macur, but you don't have to go to sleep to project your spirit anywhere. The astral projection is based around you going deep within yourself, leaving your soul and your avatar, and projecting your spirit outward to travel other places in the astral and quantum realms. Okay? But when you learn how to activate the macur, which is your ancient original technology, it's around you. That's where the Vitruvian man come from. You see, the, this, this luminous being, that which you are, it's sitting right here. So this is how you look when you in your meditative state. That macabre is around you. When you stand it up, the macabre is still around you. But in order to activate your macabre, you have to sit in it like you would sit in your car. So that's the whole purpose of even sitting in a meditative state. Because you don't have to sit to meditate. You don't have to hold your hands like that. You can meditate with your hands just like this. You can meditate and plant your feet in the soil, or you can still be meditating with your rubber soles off. You get what I'm saying? It's just if you take your rubber off, you can tap into the surface more. But that's only if you're trying to ground. A lot of individuals think, oh, if you don't kick your shoes off and let your feet touch the soil, you ain't meditating. That, it's different forms. That's if you're grounding. Right? If you're grounding, you're trying to release energy or pull energy from the from the realm. That's when you would sit. I mean, that's when you would let your your eyes on the bottom of your feet sink into the soil. Okay? To connect your electricity. Remember, carbonated beings, nine ether beings, we have spirit and soul. But once again, the spirit is electricity, the soul is magnetism. Okay? So the whole purpose, people don't know this though. They don't even know why they sit in meditation. You see what I'm saying? You don't need to sit like that to meditate. That posture is strictly to activate your macabre. And for you to travel within it, you have to be in a sitting stance, in a sitting posture. That's why the lotus, you got all type of, the lotus pose, right? That's the, one of the best poses to use to activate your macabre, all right? It's a hard pose to learn, though. It's tough because you're not used to having your ligaments in those positions, right? Especially with all the fluoride and stuff they put in our water and the food that they give us. You feel me? But we travel. We back into the dark matter energy, nigga. I ain't come to fuck around today. So I'm gonna let you know what this really mean. Cause too long, just sit in niggas' faces and niggas don't even know. But the energy is here now, all right? They are finna crash this grid, all right? When this solar flare hit, 
every go, everybody gonna shift and activate, whether you want it to or not. Now, what you shift into will be based upon your intent and what you were when Source created you. Yeah, we gods and human beings, y'all human beings. But see, human beings is a little different. But y'all can go back to Source. Y'all Source starts at the petri dish. That's as far back as they go. Petri dish. Nigga was in there scrambling eggs. You get what I'm saying? Don't feel, don't feel away. We just keep kicking real esoteric facts today. You feel me? Like we always do. But for you ancient beings, nine ether beings, six ether beings, you can trace your lineage back to the petri dish. You don't have to go that far. Okay? But for nine ether beings, you gotta go all the way back to source to understand what you are. Alright? Yeah, let me use. Let me use this, man. You know, this the. You know, it makes a good. Remember how that professor be when we was all going to, to the programming centers they call it schools? Give me. Yeah, pointing the shit like the weatherman. You hear me? Meteorologists. Meteorologists divide. All right? So listen, this bottom pyramid, all right? Let's focus, class. Let's focus. Get it together in the back. I see people dropping laugh emojis. That's the back of the class. Hey, I need everybody in the back of the class. Simmer down, class. Simmer down. All right? So listen. This is the bottom of the pyramid. This is the divine feminine energy. Say it with me now. Divine feminine energy. Okay? Bottom of the Makarva, divine feminine energy. Notice it's pointing down because it's giving, it's giving directions, it's giving information, okay? The divine feminine energy is creativity. It's the creative side of things. Remember, remember we talked about dark matter energy, which is the source from which we all came, okay? We know what it was in the beginning. It was a lot of this. Hold on, Lele. It was a lot of this. All right. In the beginning, it was just this. And the divine feminine energy, which is the creator source, right? She gives directions. The divine masculine energy job is to enforce and provide and protect whatever the divine feminine energy told the divine masculine energy to do. That's the concept. That's the concept. All right. That's the concept. Don't forget. Don't forget the concept. Don't forget the creed we live by. All right? Now, that's the bottom of the curve. Now, you have another pyramid pointing upward. Okay? That's the masculine energy. Because going up is more aggressive, right? It's an enforcing sort of energy. So the pyramid is pointing up. The divine gives the orders. The masculine, the divine feminine energy gives the orders. The divine masculine energy enforces, pushes it out upward into the stratosphere, into the cosmos, into the astros. All right. We are familiar with the initial seven chakras that are used to activate your Makurva. See, a lot of you don't know why you're supposed to unlock all seven chakras. You're supposed to unlock all seven so that you can activate your Makurva. See what I'm saying? That's what they don't tell you. We know about the root chakra. We understand the sacral chakra. We understand the solar plexus. We understand the heart chakra. And then above that is the throat chakra. And then above that, which deals with truth, keeping it real over it. And then above that, what is your throat chakra? Right? Heart chakra, throat chakra. Brow chakra, third eye, crown chakra. All right? Dealing with detaching from all realms, not just this one. Alright? So when you sit in this posture, notice how relaxed the hands are. And notice, hold on. Notice this luminous being don't have any hands like this. This luminous being is making this posture right here. But down though, like this. Why? Because your fingers are energetic. Think of your fingertips as as little stargates, but for your for your body though, electricity. This is why when you touch somebody, 
different fingers will give them a different feeling. The thumb feels different than the touch of the index. The index feels different than the touch of the middle finger. The middle finger feels different than the touch of the ring finger. The ring finger feels different from the touch of the pinky finger. The masseuse, people that are masseuse, they know this. They know this. Massage the fuck out you because they know that. Now, they might not understand why, that, how deep that goes. But yes. Yes. Even if you was to hold your hands close to each other like this and close your eyes. Tune out the electric signals around you. Disconnect from consciousness. So what is consciousness? Touch, feel, taste, smell, hearing. All five senses. I don't know if even if I said five, but you know what the fuck I'm trying to say. When you, when you, if you was to close your eyes, cut off the, cut off the blue light, right? And, and disconnect your senses and just push. You can feel your life force. You can feel it like that. You're going to feel a difference from here and here and here and here. In here, in here, in here. This is how deep we have to go when we tap into the dark matter energy again. We have to go all the way back to source. Because the dark matter energy is here. Now. Okay. Above this crown chakra, you will notice one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine other pyramids intersecting with each other. The reason they are intersecting with each other, surrounded by a green stargate, surrounded by a square, encasing the green stargate, which is encasing, encasing the nine of pyramids, which is connected to the crown chakra, is because this represents the nine different universes all right and your connection to them notice at the bottom under your root chakra we have electricity or let me say solar energy magnesium or magnetism being poured from the root chakra down to this symbol right here okay now this symbol right here has one, two, three, four, five points. Okay? What do these five points represent? All right? As above, so below, but your lower self, which is still actually a version of your higher self, once you master your lower self. All, this is why we are supposed to love all forms of self. Okay? I'm giving y'all metaphysics right now. Hopefully they don't cut the YouTube video short because this shit I'm telling y'all that I'm telling you right now. This is the beginning phase of the magic. All your sorcerers know this. All your witches know this. All your people that's into theosophy know this. All your mystics understand this. All your Tibetan monks and Buddhist monks and people that are into the hermetic teachings understand this principle. But it's five points. I want you to notice the shape stuff. Why is it five points? You should notice already, class. No different than it being five points on the star that people deem as demonic. Okay? What do the five points represent? Fire. Air. Okay? Let's break it down. One, two, three, four, five. Fire, air, earth. Well, well, let me do it the right way, because it's a square. Fire, air, earth, water, and the very last point represents spirit, the quantum realms, or plasma energy. But when we're using a five-point star, let's just say spirit. Let's just say quantum. Because spirit and quantum is the same thing. I taught you that. They use the word quantum to scare your ass away from it. Okay? So, he who understands this and his connection, because that's you. You drop the meat off you because you ain't no meat suit. You drop that off you, that's what you are at your core when you get here. Now, is, is this what source created you to be? No, you're way more powerful than that. But we're talking about your, your, your material experience in this realm. 
disconnects you to this realm. Very powerful imagery right here. And notice the colors. Violet. And encased in all these colors is what? Darkness. See it? Darkness. Now I feel like my fucking Vanna White off my fucking uh, I feel like Vanna White off my fucking uh, Will of Fortune around this motherfucker. That's how she used to be. Hey, Vanna, let me see. That's all she did. A whole Will of Fortune, didn't she? she I know them motherfucking toes was hurting all the years. She didn't do shit but pose. Heels gotta be extra strong. She ain't, what? But yeah, I feel like Vanna White. You know what I'm saying right now? Off oh, Will of Fortune, nigga. So, but yeah, yeah, though. Know. And for the 21 and under, I know y'all don't get the shit we used to get. So I don't even know if y'all know what Will of Fortune is, but it was an old game show. You can Google it later. <laughs> right? But look, no. Shout out to the youth. I'm just saying, because y'all don't even know who the fuck Peter Pan is around this motherfucker. Get what I'm saying? Damn. Ain't took all the good shit off TV. Look, right? So, I want you to really understand why, why I chose to, me and the wife, chose to just sit this here. You know, we ain't, I ain't never did no background. I ain't into all that. You know, not knocking nobody to do what I'm not into all that. I just get on here, we talk. But we in dark matter energy right now. So this has to be seen. Because he who was viewing that, even if you didn't know what it mean, your soul is connected to that. That's you. And even if you are a human being, because human beings have spirit, they don't have soul. Human beings can, they can connect. They have electricity. This is why when human beings meditate, they rise in frequency as well. They lack the soul, they lack the magnetism, but they rise in frequency, okay? Because they do have chakras, all right? They are able to connect. They're not, they, they don't, they're not able to connect to these multiverses though, to the multiverse, they, this is cut off. But they can rise to this crown level. And you see them when they rise. When they rise, and like I say, when you see human beings smoking weed, meditating, and doing yoga, they, they will never be racist. Shout out to white Jamaica. I'm telling you, I went out to Denver. That's white Jamaica. I see human beings with lots. They were smoking weed. They was meditating. They had crystals on, nigga. And they was listening to Caribbean music. You know, I ain't gonna make shit up. I'm gonna keep it real over rich. Throat chakra open at all times, even when it come to myself. Because we can't break the connection. This is why every single chakra must be unlocked. You got individuals walk around trying to unlock chakras, don't even know why though. You unlock all seven chakras, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna start to activate the divine masculine energy cycle of your macabre. Now you gotta rise up to the next level of chakras. All right, to unlock the divine feminine part of the macabre. The masculine, so this is the upper pyramid of your macabre, it rotates clockwise. Well, actually it rotates, the, 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 the divine masculine part of the macabre rotates counterclockwise. Because we the Y chromosome. The masculine energy was second. The divine energy was first. So this part of the pyramid, imagine it just rotating this way. Like the point going and slowly. That's how it go. See, counterclockwise. The divine feminine energy part of the pyramid rotates clockwise. So you see this point? So it's going like this. Well, it's going like this point. It will start, if you started from right here, this point down, it will go like this, upward. Clockwise. While it's going clockwise, like this, the divine masculine part, which is the upper part of the pyramid of the macabre, is going counterclockwise. And when you act, when you unlock all seven chakras and you master them and you begin to rise to your next level of chakras, because you have a, a total of almost 144 chakras, okay? But they exist at the quantum level of you. You see what I'm saying? This is the physical chakras that help you rise up into the quantum level of yourself. And that's when you have a whole nother level of chakras to unlock. All right.
And those are what you must unlock to activate the divine feminine part of the curve. When you activate both, you can travel wherever you want to, right here in the flesh. You can activate all powers right there and go anywhere. You're going to know all. All that it is to know, you're going to know. All right? So, when you unlock these seven, you begin to make the divine masculine part of the Makarba rotate. Starts to rotate slowly. Once you unlock the rest, the divine feminine starts to rotate. Okay? That's the Makarba. It's imperative that you knew that before we start class today. All right. Now that we understand the Makarba, we understand the energy field we in. We understand the vortex. We understand the density that we are rising to, hopefully. All right. Let's open up this live lecture with the right frequency. All right. So we're going to set the frequency first.
This is the Orisha that wants to join us today. Everybody say hello. Got you, God. You should know who this is by now. If you don't, this is Orula. Peace to the God right here. Different Orisha speak to me, you know. They let me know who want to come on. All right. So he want to come on today. So we're going to pull him on here. His energy, he wants y'all to feel his energy. So for those who don't know what energy or ruler embodies, I would advise you to go look it up after this live. Yeah, y'all smash this like button. We finna roll into this deep live lecture. Dun, 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 dun. You hear me? <laughs> you feel me? All right. So today's live lecture is called Welcome to Atlantis. They took the land. All right. I need y'all to really feel me on that. So before we dive into this lecture, it's imperative that we open it with the right spiritual energy. First, let me start by saying peace to all the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Peace, meaning positive energy, always creates elevation. Um, I'm sending peace to the human beings that's, that's tuning in as well. And peace to the motherfucking feds and CIA that's watching because y'all ain't going to stop shit. That's all y'all can do is watch and only hope to contain a force of energy that you never could understand. <clears throat> My name is Divine Insight, sovereign being, not a citizen of the of, of nobody's republic. I am only a citizen of my ancestors. I hail from Xylanthia, Sirius X, all right? Headquarters, 19th galaxy, 9th, 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 9th universe, 19th galaxy, 9th universe, Sirius X, that's why I hail from, that's who I answer to. I only answer to my species and my ancestors who sent me. Peace to all the Orishas that's in here this evening with us. It's a lot of them, all right? So, I wanna start by sending the deepest insight to the elders, though 65 and older within the university. We appreciate you for being in here. Let's tap into this dark matter energy. Let's remove the fear, because a lot of the elders, y'all, y'all, y'all have a lot of fear on y'all because y'all come from that generation, and that's not your fault. But we move, we in new energy now. New energy, new era, new times. You feel me? All right? Um, we appreciate all the elders. Respect is, is, is definitely one thing that, I, that I'm that i big on enforcing to the youth that's watching me so that they can learn how to respect the elders. So that's why I always like to open up these lectures with starting out with giving, giving thanks and sending supreme insight to all the elders that embodied this flesh, these fleshly avatars. And we know time isn't real, but you've been here a lot in this in this reality um a little longer than us so we just want to say thank you all right to to all of of my peers those in their 20s 30s 40s 50s we appreciate you you know we the bridge all right i'm sending you nothing but the deepest of insight may peace be with you may chaos be with you as we merge forward 10 toes deep in this war to take back what's rightfully stolen from us all right um to the youth 21 and under star seeds Rainbow babies, crystal babies, and these new babies that just got here, blue crystal babies. Uh, just want to send a supreme, supreme insight to you for you to remember why you came here. Because you haven't been here in this flesh, in this reality that long. So you are some of our most strongest warriors that we have right now. And it's imperative that that that, that you all, definitely those in their, in their teens, redirect that, that kinetic energy that you call guns, you know, toward the real oppressors, the real ops, the police, the government, and all those who work against us to take away our sovereignty, all right? I'm sending peace to all the human beings that are vibrating high enough to see past my flesh, to see past my pigmentation, because I know it's hard for you to do. You've been fed the same spoon of hate that we've been fed. You know, they want the race war. They want us to kill each other. They want, but you know, nobody, no, no gods own anything anymore. Although we do by birthright, but it was taken from us. So nobody with nobody with melanin in their in their skin, which would be human beings, because you have melanin in your skin, not neuromelanin. You have melanin. This is why when you get in the sun, you catch melanomas when you get too much UV radiation. All right, and that's okay. That's okay. You are an organic being to this planet, and that's not nothing you should beat yourself up over. That just means you're not from here, so you can't take the atmosphere. And your government didn't want to tell you the truth, so Rashad Jamal is here to tell you the truth. I am not your enemy, unless you want me to be. You see? 
I'm not your enemy and my species is not your enemy unless you want me to be or unless you want us to be, then we can be that. Because we have more than enough reasons to be that. But moving on the right energy, I'm not your enemy and neither is my species. Your enemy is your own your own human being race that, that sit up in councils and call themselves the Billberger Group and the Boule and the Committee of 300 and the Black Nobility and the Nice Templars, all right, and the KKK. And all these other names that like to hide behind the United Nations, right? They can doctor up all the fancy names they want to, but never forget how they treated you when this vaccine hit. Never forget human beings. To the human being species, never forget that. Nobody with carbon in their skin took your jobs away, did we? No, we didn't. It was your own people that took your jobs away. Okay? Y'all in here smash the like button so we can hopefully get more souls and spirits to hear this message this evening that's coming to you from celestial beings that I'm just channeling. All right. So to all the plant life, let's value them for they are they are they are alive. Let's stop acting like they just plants. Let's get back to the nature. Let's respect nature, because if you don't respect nature, she's going to disrespect you. You know, I um to anybody that's a homosexual or a transgender, it don't matter what your sexual preference is. The way you get your nut has nothing to do with your vibration. The way you release your bodily fluids has nothing to do with your vibration. Although doing too much of it can lower your vibration. But I say that to say, I want you to sit in here with and, and pull in this energy. All right. We're going to talk about Atlantis today. And I'm also going to kind of tell you a little bit about the other nine realms that are in this planet, within this planet, within the circumference of the planet. Okay. So yeah, put your seatbelts on. Put your seatbelts on. You feel me? We going, we taking off. All right, we taking off. And when we go up, we don't plan on landing no time soon. All right, so when we get up in, when we get up in these astros where I'm finna take you to, ain't no dope. Pull over, let me out. Ain't no none of that shit. You ain't gotta have your phone on airplane mode or none of that. Cause unlike your government, you can see where you're going. Your government don't want you to know where you're going. That's why they make you turn your phone on airplane mode because they don't want you to know that you are you are on the legendary continent of Atlantis. It never sunk. It never sunk. Right? Understand that the best way to hide something from a from a species. It's to hide it in plain sight. For example, do you know how many extraterrestrial and interterrestrial spacecrafts are in the sky right now? But because your government is using chemtrails, oxygen combined with cloaking technology, they are able to make these ships appear to be just a part of the sky or clouds. Okay. You know how many trees are around you? The whole planet is a wasteland. We are not as big as we used to be. Our plants aren't as healthy as they used to be. The forest doesn't sing and speak frequencies no more like she once did because she's in, she was in fear. The animals fear us when they used to love us. We fear the animals when we used to love the animals. We were one with the wind and the elements, wind, air, earth, fire. We was one with them elements. Okay. We, was, we were on the same vibration, so we were able to contain and control them. Or should I say work with their, work with their energies. You can, you, can, you, can, you can go look up any, any tribe from ancient Africa they spoke of these days. You, go look, you can go look at any ancient Indian story they spoke of these days. Hell, the fathers that let you go back is ancient Kemet. You can go look at that. They still spoke of those days. All right, we not finna talk about Mesopotamia because we know they ain't been there. They wasn't here that long. The Mesopotamians, that was all a part of Greece. Athens, the Athenians, the Spartans, that was all part of Greece. Greek culture. All right, these were human beings. All right, and the original Greeks are the same ones that run the world now. The Romans came after the Greeks. You have been lied to, America. You have been lied to, Europe. You know, the original Europeans was black, too. All right. But if we're going to use titles, you have been lied to Europe. This is an international audience right here when we on YouTube. 
You have been lied to, Europe. You have been lied to, Americans. Regardless of race, regardless of culture, regardless of religion, sexual preference, status quo in society, you have been lied to. But today we're gonna we gonna go, we're gonna jump down the rabbit hole. You see? The rabbit hole is a never-ending hole because you know Satan and Zeus and his army, they never stopped digging. They knew we was coming, so they had to keep digging once they created the rabbit hole. That's how it got so deep. When you're trying to enslave giants, you're gonna have a deep ass hole to dig. I don't think y'all hear me. When you're trying to enslave giants, you're gonna have a deep ass hole to dig. That's why the rabbit hole runs so deep. You're trying to bury gigantic greatness. You, they don't have enough shovels. You can never get enough shovels to bury these truths. You know, you can never kill enough of our revolutionaries and leaders to bury these truths. You can never make enough fact check pop up screens to hide these truths. Because even your very young human being species, which you, Vatican, Queen Elizabeth, Great Britain, America, United Nations, Europe, Asia, Rockefellers, the elites, your 13 families, you hid these truths from your own people. You mistreated your own people. Now your own people are rising against you. See, that's what greed does to you. You know, greed, because you have to understand, our planet has so many resources that when these human beings and these Pleiadians first, and these reptilians were, they when they when they when they came here, they couldn't help themselves. But they didn't know that they were dealing with technology that no matter how much they they could you could get rid of us, but you'll never get rid of us. And you can't use our ancient technology without knowing the access codes, the metaphysical access codes that only we have locked inside of our genetics. And no matter how many black babies you killed in the hospital, and no matter how many STD variations you put out there to destroy my people to get the genetics, nothing worked. Sickle cell, syphilis, cancer, AIDS, Man-made. We never had this ease before these inorganic beings landed on our planet in their year of 1492. The key word, they call it disease. We'll break it down. Dis-ease. We didn't have nothing to do with any form of dis. There was no dis-ease. No dissension. No discord. See, when you use the, the root word dis, you know, that all has to do with separation. We know nothing of that. We don't know fear. We never knew love. We never knew happiness. We never knew jealousy, envy, anything. Not us Atlanteans. Not us Anunnaki's or Anunnaki. We knew nothing. It don't matter how many black light. Don't try to reveal shit to us now in black lightning. We see through you. Don't reveal shit now that it's being revealed. Don't try to show us shows on Netflix like The Magician. We know magic is real now. This is a magnetic realm for every being human or God has an aura field, which is an electromagnetic frequency around their being, their etheric bodies. Save the magician. You should have been told us. Tell us shit now. Don't try to come out inside job and now you want to hint at it being a reptilian race controlling the whole government and you want to talk about these Pleiadians who make up this shadow government, these advanced beings who are not here from, that who are not from the planet, yet they have been controlling the planet through these 13 families, through these human beings who continue to keep their genetics locked within themselves. These are the elites, 
The elites are separate from your average human beings. They didn't get in. Your average human beings you see every day they got to work, they didn't get in. Y'all ain't get in, dog. Y'all ain't royals. You ain't shit but Negroes with a Hemi, like I always say. Truth is coming to light. Or shall I say, truth is coming to darkness. Or should I say out of the darkness, the truth is being revealed. We not run into the light no more. We run into the darkness. That's how they fooled us. They taught us to run to the light. They told us the darkness was bad. They told us black was evil. When in reality, they never called our ancestors black anything. Into the 20th century. And when the word was used, it was used as a form of degradation to degrade our beings. More spells being placed over our avatars to disconnect us. They're going to dis again. And once they disconnected us, that brought in the dis-ease. They took the land. I don't think you feel me, though. And any human human being is vibrating high. You should you should feel a way about that as well. How does it make you feel to know that this whole country in America, North, South, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, who built that? I mean, we know who built it originally, but who helped build up their dread dream? To see the elites in these Pleiadians, they had a dream like Martin Luther King did. But who helped them manifest their dream? We did. I think we need to pat ourselves on the back a little more. We don't do that enough. They got us believing that we are lazy. This is what they teach you. Black people and Latino people ain't shit. They lazy. And the only Latino race they say not lazy is the Mexican race. But Mexicans aren't Latinos. So go figure. They would give the hard work right back to their human being species in some form, shape, or way. Who taught the Mexicans, though? We did. I've been working on a railroad. Who built those railroads? We did. Did you forget? Who built up these factories? Nike wouldn't have a trillion dollars without black people, if you want to call us that. I prefer gods, that which we are. You can't do that without the God race. And that includes the Latino race. Your Puerto Ricans, your Dominicans, your Haitians. All of those you deem Latin America or Latino. They took the land. We know they took the land, but I don't think we know they took the land. We gonna dive real deep in that though today. So first, let's let let's get a, a visual representation of where we are. We are on a planet that has been hijacked by invaders. Inorganic beings. Pleiadians. Seven foot tall aliens, if you want to call them that. Who are working in cahoots. With the reptilian race. A treaty was formed. When the human beings were stuck on planet Egypt. Your elites of today. They formed a covenant. With the reptilian race. The alpha draconian reptilians to be exact. Who stand 20 feet plus winged reptilian beings. You have many different reptilian races, but the Alpha Draconians are at the top of the reptilian race.
The Alpha Draconians formed a covenant with the human beings and the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians look like your average day human beings, you everyday human beings you will see. The only difference is they get no shorter than six feet. Between six feet to eight feet. Perfect skin complexions. For they have mastered the melanin. They have mastered how to communicate with our son, even though they didn't come from it. Because the Pleiadian race is an advanced, keyword, advanced extraterrestrial race. So when Satan was creating these human beings, he made them in our image of the gods. He gave them arm, arm, leg, leg, head. Allah, as the Muslims call it. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Allah, Vitruvian man, or should I say Vitruvian God? Metaphysical symbology, signs and symbols for the conscious mind. Or should I say, subconscious mind. However, while on planet Nern in the sixth universe, which is what makes human beings six ether beings, because it takes six ethers for a human being vessel to be created inside the womb of another human being. Each ether represents an energy cycle. We never had time. We have energy cycles. We are nine ether beings. It takes nine energy cycles for our avatars to be concocted within the womb of a black goddess. Because she has mitochondrial genetics, she has the purification for she is the source. She is the X and the Y chromosome. Okay. Although these human beings were made in our image, they were replicated after the Pleiadian extraterrestrial race. So this is why Pleiadians look just like human beings with blonde hair. All right. And this is why the Pleiadian race was able to live amongst you, regular human beings and us gods for so long. Okay. I'll repeat that. The human being race were made in the image of the gods. Four different animal splices, the lemur, the pig, the snub-nosed monkey, the canine, or the wolf. One drop of God DEA, deoxyethyric acid. This is what gives you arm, leg, leg, arm, head, or Allah. As the Muslims call it. Not right now. Uh, after I get through off the lecture. Okay. Thank you, though. Although made in our image, they were replicated after the Pleiadian race. So... The Pleiadians are not human beings. They are way more advanced than human beings could ever be. Pleiadians are the pirates of the cosmos. Wanted in every one of the nine universes. So are these reptilians, these fallen gods. It isn't a planet, a galaxy, a star system that these Pleiadians or Alpha Draconian reptilians can go to. Because all Pleiadians aren't bad. We have duality. Those back home at headquarters in the Pleiadian star system, the Pleiades galaxy, which is where they come from, which is why they are called Pleiadians, all of them aren't bad. Remember, this is a multiverse 
That symbol represents the multiverse. As above, so below. That means the things that transpire here in this realm, on this planet, in this galaxy, in this universe, also transpires on other planets and other galaxies and other universes. That's the true esoteric meaning of as above, so below. Don't know. Understand. See? You don't need knowledge. You don't need to know the ledge. You need to understand. You need insight so you can see for yourself. I can give you knowledge, but I can't give you insight. Only you can give you that. And insight is the best teacher. For you to experience it with your own being. Be you human being or God. This covenant was made on planet Egypt. Another planet loaded, located in the ninth universe. Okay. On planet Egypt, the reptilian, the alpha draconian reptilians to be exact. Because a lot of people are starting to learn about these lizard species or these lizard people or these reptilians, but they're called reptilians because it's multiple races of them for a reason. And all reptilians aren't bad. Just like all Anunnaki aren't good. This is why they are trying to attack the Anunnaki because we rise. But they trying to make it seem like the Anunnaki are bad. I see it going on. But not breaking down the esoteric symbol that's respected in 12 universes. As above, so below. There's duality in all things because the number one rule that pervades the entire multiverse is what? Free will. We are all sovereign beings. So you can't invade anybody's free will. Just like when we went to war, we being the gods with Satan himself. Right here on this planet. How did that happen? Because Satan, Zeus, Yakub, Marduk, Prometheus, Odin, Enki, and Enlil, and Jesus Christ, the many names he go by, decided to go against us. That's why we are in a cosmic war now. However, in their year of 1492, they landed on this planet. We are the, are the heart of the planet. Where we are right now, this place they are calling Earth, this is planet, this whole realm is actually Atlantis. But I don't want to confuse you. Because somebody probably like, how is this Atlantis and planet Kai? Well, let me help you out. A planet is composed of nine different realms. This realm that we are on, this is Atlantis. Okay? Pull up a map real quick. Map of the world. That's all I have to pull up. Map of the world. Okay. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven continents. Let's take this off the tripod for a second. North America. South America, that's two. Africa, that's three. 
Europe, that's four. Asia, that's five. Australia makes six. Antarctica makes seven. But guess what? They are, te they are telling you that this is the map of the whole known world. But do you see the way it's shaped? Overall, it's shaped like an oval, flat, like a flat oval, right? The shape is true. This is exactly how the realm is shaped. However, Antarctica is an ice wall that connect that goes completely around the entire realm. Okay? Antarctica is an ice wall that circles and encases the entire realm. All of these continents are not separated by water. They are all one landmass. I repeat. These continents, these continents are all one landmass surrounded by Antarctica, which is the ice wall. All right. So basically, all of these continents is Atlantis. This is the realm of Atlantis. All right. Now, this is how they were able to fool you about where you are let's do let's go to norse mythology because they kind of showed it to you hold on map of nine worlds norse mythology showed you how the realms look hold on here you go you see that this is exactly how the realms look but they not, it's not a tree that connects us all. It's one plane above the other. And you have nine of them. In Norse mythology, they call Earth Midgard. But Earth is really Atlantis. And the entire planet is Kai. Okay? The entire planet is called Planet Kai. Why is it called Kai? It only had two names, Tiamat and Kai. Kai because this is home of the Anunnaki or Anunnaki. It's the whole reason it's even called Planet Kai. But Planet Kai consists of nine realms. What they are telling you is Earth is only one realm. You have four above you and four below you. This realm is Atlantis. So when they're telling you Atlantis was sunk, the lost city of Atlantis, they are lying to you. You are on Atlantis right now. They landed and renamed it. This is why Malcolm X said we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. This is why Elijah Muhammad, as well as Farrakhan, were talking about the will in the sky. I just made a lecture last week about Ezekiel's will in the sky, but I never heard nobody else really speak about it other than Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, and Farrakhan. But they even told you in their Bible, Ezekiel's dream. I broke that down last Sunday. So, it is nine realms, and I'm working on a book that's going to be called Welcome to Atlantis. While I go in more detail, I've been working on it. Hopefully, the grid don't crash before time. If we don't run out of time and the grid don't crash, the book will be out. If not, it wasn't meant for the book to come out. But I will touch on it a little bit, just to get you familiar with these nine realms and how they work. Okay. Okay. So now that we have an understanding of how the realm looks, let's list off the different other, let's list the other eight realms that are within our planet. You have been entrapped right here in this one realm. And they shut off all the stargates that lead to Asgard and other realms. Remember, I told you, rainbows are stargates. 
and I told you who who is only one group of beings who Stargate looks like that, and that's the Asgardians. So when you see a rainbow, you're looking at an Asgardian Stargate because every species has their own version of a Stargate. Asgardians are versions of us, but they're not us. They Asgardians. So Thor exists. Odin don't. Odin is the devil. But Thor is an actual being. But guess what, though? Thor isn't white. He has locks and he's black. Just like Jesus wasn't white. No, they whitewashed all of history. Okay? So, I'm about to list off the other nine realms for you. And let me pull up an ancient map of Atlantis. See, I'm going to have somebody. Somebody said Loki. Yes. Loki, Thor, they are actually brothers. They are Asgardians. They actually exist. Only difference is they're not white. They're not human beings and they're not Pleiadians. All right? They are descendants of a group of us that was here. Another, it's a lot of us that then came here. All right. They are ancient descendants of an ancient group of us. They are still gods at the core. All right. But just like the Nomos who took on the shape of dolphins and whales after their planet was destroyed in the Sirius star system, we we get we we promise to give them a home again.